Okay guys, so here we are in another um, trip in the Honda Ridge Line. And this time we're gonna go to a trail that uh, we did on a Polaris Racer. And uh, it's really uh, narrow and uh, a lot of challenges because uh, a lot of steep hills uh, with some rocks. Not rock crawling, but uh, there's some loose uh, rocks and there won't be any sand, but uh, still I have 29 PSI on the tires and uh, I'm gonna disable the VSA off. Uh, and um, probably with the higher, uh, st steeper hills or a looser, uh, loose, softer and loose terrain, I will put it on first and uh, the BTM for lock so we'll see how it goes and we'll see how far we go because uh, like I said in the Polaris Racer uh, we saw it, it was re uh, really narrow so the ridge line is a little bit um, wider than the Polaris Racer so we'll see Here the trail narrows a little bit, so we'll see how far we can go. And the other thing is that uh, if we can't uh, go any further, we'll have to uh, come back in, in reverse because there's no place to turn around. So we'll see how it, how far we can go. <laughs> okay, three wheels and one wheel on the air over in that uh, zone. Okay, this part is a little bit difficult downhill, but uphill will be a lot harder. The other reason is that I'm using 29 on this type of terrain is because 29 PSI is because the uh, the rocks, some of the rocks, they're really uh, have uh, sharp edges, so it's really common to get a puncture here. So 
if I go lower for one I won't be able to disable the VSA system I have I will have to pull the fuse off and the other thing is that I might get a puncture so I'm just going with 29 psi again like most of the time Okay, this part, this section over here is a little bit difficult. Still driving on deed on deed uh, mode with the VSA off only, no VTM lock uh, still. So far, so good. Esa piedra, verá, échame agua con esa piedra porque me va a tratar de ir por aquí así para sacarle la vuelta ya. Ok, my nephew is gonna do a little spot, a spot for me because uh, that rock over there. I don't want to hit it. Okay. Wait for him. Sí, pues la de atrás es la que no quería que que la rozara. Es simple. This section is going to be really difficult on the way up. Very narrow, a lot of loose rocks on one side. See, as you can see. <laughs> We'll see how we make it up. Okay. If I only had the two inch uh, lift kit, I won't be able to come down this trail at all. I will be hitting like every single rock and right now I haven't hit uh, any rock with the under uh, of, with the bottom of the ridge line so this is where we came with the with the Polaris racer so we made it Beautiful beach. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we made it uh, to this spot. Beautiful spot. See? And uh, like I was saying, uh, I thought the, the ridge line was gonna be uh, having trouble uh, fitting on the on the trails because it's really really uh, narrow so really tight but uh, we have no big problems you saw that uh, it was uh, fairly easy actually with the Polaris Racer it wasn't uh, really uh, a big difference obviously the car 
has um, it's designed for for this type of terrain. And uh, but the ridge line didn't have any problems. Uh, we'll see on the way back. Um, we'll try to get some footage from the outside also and see how how it goes. But uh, yeah, here we are. So we're gonna head back and um, I think this time I'm gonna have to to use BTM the BTM system locked with the with the VSA off because uh, it's a little bit steeper and maybe drive it on first gear. We'll try to get some footage from the outside also. Okay, no need to uh, put it in first gear yet, and only uh, VSA off. Okay, so but this part I will put it in first gear and in BT BTM for lock. But first, I'm gonna put a camera up there. Okay, so we are in first gear. BTM for lock and BSA off. No problem with all. So we're going to keep going on D draw on D mode and VSA off with the VTM4 unlocked Mira estado entre tener el drone que fuera grabando aquí hacia el lado <laughs> okay, this is the, the rock, pretty big one, and that one send us over to this uh, ditch. But as you can see, there is no damage to the reach line. And I was easily able to back up with no problem. So, I 
Okay, I inspected the car. Nothing happened. Happened. I just have to go by this rock. Okay, we made it. This section over there, uh, the hard part was not hitting the rock and uh, because if um, for some reason the rock came all the way up, out, uh, we, we have to move it out of the way because on the right, uh, right hand side there was no way we could go there only to the all the way to the beach rolling down to the beach so that wasn't a good idea we're gonna drive on first gear because I want the engine to be helping with the brake a little bit I mean, it's not like a manual transmission, but still, it helps a little bit with the braking. BTM locked and hopefully we can make it on the first try. Yeah, no problem. Okay, we're, we found another trail, we're, we're gonna check it out. We'll see if we can make it all the way down to the beach.
first gear just to help me brake a little bit. to the beach with no problem and right now we're just in a VSA off no VTM or nothing first gear no problem gear and just applying a little bit of brakes because like I said uh, it's a little bit slippery so you can hear a little bit of the ABS system working
Okay, we're gonna go up this uh, trail and first and VTM uh, Fort Lock. Why? Because, like I said before, it's a little bit like um, on the surface, there is a little bit of gravel. So I don't want any uh, sleeping. Sleeping, uh, yeah, losing the traction. You can uh, feel the difference when you engage with them for lock for the steep hills. Like this one, there's it is real steep, and uh, it helps a lot. So I have another video. Uh, one of them, I think the first uh, few uh, videos I have uh, demonstrating the difference between the VSA off with the VTM on and the different combinations that, that you can you can have and it's exactly in that in that uh, hill so you can go on the channel and see uh, how it works and on our way down I'm gonna I'm gonna disengage the VTM4 First gear. <laughs> so we got into trouble. <laughs> we went all the way over by. That way over there, with a really hard terrain, and I'll show you what happened. And uh, apparently, no damage to the oil pan uh, was done luckily but we have these two little pieces of the uh, I think it's on the transmission side but there is no oil leaking only water from the air conditioning okay so Try to get out of this one. First time I have like this kind of trouble. <laughs> okay, first try. We're gonna go and reverse. BTM for lock, BSA off, and just trying to go a little bit slowly. Okay, I have one of the wheels spinning. I'll try to go front at, uh, over it. BTM for lock, BSA off. Okay, and we're out. <laughs> we'll see what else hit uh, under the car okay so uh, this is a rock pretty big, pretty big one and apparently there's no damage okay you can see the uh, rear differential with no damage you can see the um, fuel tank with no damage uh, 
all the uh, traction system coming from the uh, transmission to the rear differential no damage we'll, uh, we'll see in the front Here is the oil pan, no damage, oh, just a few, uh, this is the transmission, and the transfer case over there, a little bit, uh, not broken, but just a uh, break. And here's the other part where the the big rock hit. no damage so we're good to go so there's no way guys that uh, if I didn't had the uh, two inch lift kit could have gone over that rock that was totally my, my mistake uh, mistake but that's a big boulder okay uh, you saw that there was no damage to the and uh, all the components underneath the car and um, we're ready to go home so we're going to continue first gear to help us break on the going downhill Here the ABS uh, system working. done and we have these two little pieces of the um, transmission they're like um, uh, I don't know how to explain it but uh, I think they they if they're like the same as the race cars they help a little bit with the cooling um, but uh, not didn't damage uh, the transmission or wasn't leaking any oil anything like that and uh, the oil pan also was uh, was not hit uh, with a big rock at the end uh, anyways I hope you like the video and uh, there there will be more videos coming and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, support the channel I mean it's um, just for having fun and uh, if you like off-road uh, off uh, videos uh, uh, off-road racing you'll find a lot of off-road racing videos on the channel and um, a lot of races from from here Baja 
and a lot of uh, a lot of good competition and uh, you can find uh, I don't know maybe I have 100 videos or maybe more so go check up and, and see what you like on the channel